Today, we're diving into Payday 3, the highly anticipated game-making waves. Is it worth playing? Stay tuned as we're about to break down everything we know so far. Right from the get-go, Payday 3 feels like a significant upgrade from its predecessor. The movement and gunplay are smoother and more realistic than ever. You'll find yourself moving faster, and new maneuvers like sliding add a whole new dimension to both combat and stealth. The weapons feel punchier and more satisfying, although they come with smaller magazines and longer reload times. Plus, you can now use civilian hostages as meat shields, forcing enemies into melee combat to avoid harming innocent bystanders, a neat addition to the gameplay. Now, let's dive into some criticism. Payday 3 introduces a new skill tree system that simplifies things by allowing you to pick only four perks for each mission. While the perks themselves are cool, this change removes the depth of character specialization that was central to the series. The ability to instantly swap abilities from mission to mission eliminates the sense of unique roles within a crew. This simplified approach may disappoint fans of the intricate build crafting from Payday 2. Additionally, it seems that the game has done away with perk decks, which added minor perks related to a character's background. This suggests a potential shift towards a more streamlined experience, which may not sit well with fans of the franchise. On the bright side, the revamped progression system opens up exciting possibilities for stealth runs. Unlike Payday 2, where only elite players could pull off clean heists, Payday 3 makes stealth more accessible. Even in random match-made groups with minimal communication, you can execute stealth missions successfully. One of the standout changes is in mission design. Stealth runs now offer entirely different paths to success. For example, the secure capital bank level gives you the option to sabotage electrical systems and deactivate security measures to access the vault without being detected. This dynamic approach adds depth to the gameplay and makes each heist feel unique. The addition of new mechanics for stealth play is a game changer. You can pickpocket security guards for key cards or use environmental lures to distract them. Hidden cameras allow you to scout ahead without raising suspicion. Stealth in Payday 3 is more intricate and engaging than ever before, and it's a massive improvement from its predecessor. However, all these new options don't make stealth runs a cakewalk, and that's mainly because of the improved enemy AI. Guards now respond dynamically to your actions, investigating suspicious activities and altering their patrol routes. They're not trigger happy. They'll attempt to escort you out of restricted areas instead of shooting you on sight, offering a tactical advantage for savvy players. In combat, the police force is more formidable than ever, swarming you from all directions and adapting to your tactics. They can even obstruct your heist attempts like triggering the fire alarm to slow down your thermite job. Hostages are more responsive too, making them valuable assets in both combat and negotiation. So, there you have it. It's clear that the game brings significant improvements to movement, combat, and stealth gameplay. However, the simplified skill tree system leaves something to be desired for fans of character specialization. The dynamic mission design and enhanced enemy AI add depth and challenge to the heists. Payday 3 is set to release on September 21st, and based on what we've seen so far, it's shaping up to be a worthy successor to the franchise. If you're a fan of cooperative heists and tense, tactical gameplay, this might just be your next go to title. So, keep your masks ready, stay tuned for more updates, and let us know in the comments what you're most excited about in Payday 3. Is it the improved stealth mechanics or the revamped combat? Until next time, heisters, keep those safes cracking.